I did find it on my own. Okay. I found it on my own, guys. I found it on my own. I found it on my own. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Wow. What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV. How's everybody out there doing? I'm waking up here in the morning uh, in Everest Harbor. Just uh, got out of my easy hab. Pretty quiet out here. You ever been in a hallway in a hotel when you're on vacation? Middle of the night. You look around and you just wonder, is everybody really asleep and I'm the only one really awake? That's how I feel right now. But maybe we'll find somebody down here at the trade terminal. Or not the trade terminals, the uh, ship terminals. Anyways, we're going to take the car to Owl today. <laughs> Wait. We're going to take the car to Owl out today. And I'm going to take you guys to someplace truly amazing. And I'll talk a little bit about it more when we get to um, the point where we have to fly manually down to Hurston. And yes, this is on Hurston. It's an amazing place. I'm going to rush. Here's somebody this week. Some more people. Um, it's an amazing place. I'll talk more about it. And I really hope that I could find it on my own. It was shown to me by the Cobros uh, on Twitch. They told me to... Um, they told me to go to, uh, the, to... On somebody's Caterpillar. It was Lucky. Lucky. It's like, hey... Cobra, get on my caterpillar. I want to show you something. I said, okay. And I get on there, and he goes, okay, don't look out the window. And when I tell you to, go to the elevator. And then he lowered the elevator. And I was blown away. So not only are we going to an amazing place today, um, but we're also going to be taking an amazing ship. And I crashed it. That's why we got to claim it right now. I crashed it on in the area that we're going so, I just got off the stream, and so we're going to wait for that to bake, and, uh, gosh, I can't wait to show this to you. I'm only, like, not super, like, I'm not so pumped, because I don't know if I could get there. I'm sure going to try. All right, pad three is where we're going. I really feel like I'm going off on some adventure. I really, 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 really do. Uh, I think I said pad three. I already forgot. So before all the people come out to the video, this I'm not going to be doing any gameplay loops. But we do have gameplay loops in Star Citizen. I have over a million UEC. Uh, and each and every one of those UEC uh, that I have has a story to tell. Um, by doing gameplay loops. By delivering boxes and the journeys that are on those box delivery missions where emergent gameplay happened with other players... Uh, doing trade runs, doing bounty hunting, doing mercenary jobs. There is gameplay loops. There is a game in Star Citizen, whether you want to admit it or not. But today, I'm not doing that. Today, we're going down there. We're going down there to a very, very weird, amazing spot. And, and what are we going to do it in? We are going to do it in this beautiful ship right here. The Cartoo Owl. I think I said it right. It is an alien, uh, backwards engineered alien ship. And I was recently informed that it was Xeon. And it doesn't remind me of something that a reptile race would fly. Maybe a bug race. This ship reminds me of a bug. Even though it unfolds like a star. Uh, it still looks like a bug. Looks like a dragonfly. Anyways, let's go ahead and get in. I'm gonna show you. Watch how this opens up. Just like an old, like, 50s aliens movie. This thing comes out. Watch this. Watch. Oops, that didn't work. Um, enter seat. Watch this. Watch the steps. Isn't that cool? So that is the stairs. And I don't know how they backwards engineered that. You know what I mean? All right, so let's go ahead and get in. Uh, enter the seat. And we're gonna take and see if we can watch the stairs come in. 
There we go. How's that for coolness, right? How's that? That's a cool. That's a number ten on the cool level. <laughs> God, that's so stupid. All right, let's get this thing turned on. Systems activating. Systems on. Oh, dude, did you hear this? You're gonna love this ship. You're gonna love it. Um. All right. Now wait till you hear the sound of this ship, guys. I've wasted so much of your time already. Okay, so we need to go to her. I mean, we need to go to OM1. That is OM6. OM1. That's where we need to go. And then we're going to go down, but it's really confusing. Quantum travel. Okay. All right, here is OM1. Now, you can't see this area too well from way out here. But I know it's kind of like straight down. And it's kind of like near Hurston area. So, this is the part that's going to take a while. So while we're on their way, let me tell you a little bit about this place first. While we are uh, heading there, I want to keep it right here. Let me go ahead and just take this off so I can monitor my speeds in my speed. While we're on the way, we're going to talk a little bit about what we're getting ready to see. It is a bug. Um, it is a bug that I hope that CIG actually keeps and does not fix. This is one bug that I hope they do not touch. And watch, it'll be the one bug that they do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, it, it's where the planet generation messed up. It completely messed up. And it created, like, this wonder of the world. Like, this amazing place to go and visit. And what makes it even more special is you can't get to it normally. I mean, you can't get to it easily. Um... Even though that I'm heading down there right now, I still have my doubts that I, myself, am going to be able to find it. Um, I'm kind of following... I was I was in a person's ship and watched where they were going, kind of. And I think it was... It's right around in here somewhere. But even if I quantum to that Hurston, it's not going to take me anywhere closer. Uh, it's actually going to take me further away. So you got to take the long way down there, and that's what makes this place a heck of a lot more special because it, it's it's like one of those places that uh, it's like one of those places like the um, Javelin Wreck or the Benny's Henge. You know what I mean? It's like one of those types of places, but this place was not done on purpose. This is a complete and utter accident, and it's beautiful. So I'm not sure if that's an indication right there or not. That that is what I'm looking for. It's getting ready to happen. It's happening right now. Look at that. The re-entry effect. go back into here I'm not sure if that's an indication that that's it it could be it very well could be Oh, stop. All 
right, while we're up here, let's kind of take a look around. It could be over there too. Or it could be this. I think it's this. I think we found it. I think we found it. I think I found it on my own. Don't get too excited just yet. I did. I did not. I did find it! On my own! Okay. I found it on my own, guys. I found it on my own. Found it on my own. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. So this is a glitch. Hear the sounds of the ship? Huh? <laughs> Do you hear that? Wow. Okay. All right. So for one, see where the sun is set right there? I think this is like the North Pole, and it's it's set uh, like this all the time. Look at this dinosaur back um, mountain ridge right here. Okay, um, the sun is always right here. It is. It's always there. It doesn't get dark. All right, where did our ridge go, or, or whatever you want to call it? All right, so let's let's go ahead. Come on, I can't wait to show you some of this. It's not supposed to be here, and it's only here. So this is like, uh, I guess you could say, like the eighth wonders of the of the Hurston. You know what I mean? Got to find the other seven. So let's go through it. Okay. So there's so much to see here, and we've only just scratched the surface. All right. So let's go back and we're going to go into the middle. All right, slow it down a little bit. Might get over to the side. There we go. Too, a little bit too far. That's okay. That's okay. All right, all right, lady. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, 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 stop. Now, the sides of this um, ridge glitter. And I don't know why. Here, we'll see if we can find a good example of it glittering. Look at that. See it glittering? <laughs> I mean, isn't that cool? So, like, magical. Look at this tree growing off the side of the thing, man. I know it's not supposed to be there. But... It's just truly an amazing find. And I don't know who the first person's responsible for finding it. But let's go ahead and we're going to land. And we'll step out and we'll take a look at the scenery here. And then we'll get back into the ship. All right? I know, lady. I'm landing. I'm supposed to be this close to the ground at this time. All right. See if we can land it nice and, nice and easy. And go ahead and turn it off. And nobody could find me here. That is so freaking cool. Alright, let's get that headlight turned off. And since the sun is over here, I know the, the uh, canyon is over here. Look at that. And look at look at that mountain. That I it's it's just it's such an amazing sight to see. It really is. Look at the way the mountain is glittering. Can you see that? And it is such a long way down. Long way down. I can't even get too close to the edge to see down to the bottom. 
I can't believe I found this on my own. We're going to go take a look at some other places too. Look at that down there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Look at all that over there. Look at that. I hope they don't fix it, man. I really hope they do not fix it. Or if they do fix it, polish it up a little bit, maybe. But it's so cool to see something so strange just out of nowhere. Oops. All right, there we go. This is one of my favorite ships to fly. What the heck? That sounded cool. Okay, so <clears throat> why don't we take a little bit of a walk? Look at this thing. I don't even know what to call it. This wall? We're going to land right here. Mm, we're going to land right here. We're gonna take a walk to the other side. All right, we'll land it right here. Alert. Deck crash. Close. I know, lady. Landing gear down. Landing complete. Landing complete. Landing complete. Landing complete. Let's move forward. Close. No, I'm not going to hit the tree. Come on. Landing complete. That's a lot better right there. All right, so here we are. And there is that really thin wall mountain, or whatever you want to call it. And this is where the, um, well, this is where the, the journey takes us. It's, it's really big. It doesn't seem like it's that big when you're, uh, when you're in your ship. But here, we can just start from one side and walk all the way through it. And I don't think CIG, I never noticed the leaves falling. I really didn't. When they put those cherry blossom trees in Orison, oh my god, how cool is that going to look, guys? Huh? We got cacti through here. Got all kinds of stuff, man. It's like the monster closet for Planet Generation. Maybe I should have walked from the other way so we had the sun in our eyes. Walked backwards all the way through it. So beautiful. We are a ways away from from the main part. 
That looks like it would hurt. And that's a big cacti. I don't think we ever realize when we're walk running by these things just how big these are. Look at that. For some reason, my mind likes to think that these things are small. You know, you run by it. Oh, look at that. Look at that thing. It looks small. When in fact, if you look at it in third person, the freaking thing is huge, man. It's taller than me. It's literally taller than I am. There's just something weird about being in first person and seeing the scale. I can't put my finger on it. <clears throat> Let's check out this tree for scale. Oh, what? Don't fight the tree. Okay. Put that away. Just, just go. Just go. Look at how the wall sparkles. You see that? I don't even know why that happens. Look at that bush growing out of the... You see, like, all of the accidents that happened here are kind of like accidents that you would see in nature, too. You see that? Isn't that really cool? How that bush is just growing right there in the pit of that rock? That's really neat. And some of this rock is growing off of here. Now, that tree looks silly. I mean, I, I mean, I... If the tree probably grew out of that mountain, it'd probably grow out a little bit like this. But all this is a mistake. They don't even know, I don't think. Or maybe they do now, because a lot of people have been coming here. And you've seen how I did it. You go to OM1, and then you go straight down... Uh, where the Hurston logo is. And if you come here, I want to see your videos. Join my Discord. That link's down below. Post your videos into the self-promotion thing. I want to see what you guys have done here. What you guys discovered here. Maybe there's more than just this part. Look, look how far away we are from like that main part. Parkour. The scale is just unbelievable. Let's walk over here a little bit. So I brought my ship over a little bit closer because I was getting really far away from that ship. Um, so let's go ahead and turn it off and get on out. I was getting really far away from that ship. If I was by myself, I would have walked the entire way. Whether it had been a one-way trip or whether I had to walk all the way back, it didn't matter. But uh, since I'm recording this video, I wanted to get closer to my ship. So this is the inside. And it's just, it's just a beautiful place. It's an odd place, right? I know it's not supposed to be here. But sometimes there are things called beautiful mistakes. It's just so odd. It's so odd. It's it's like, what a, what a discovery find, you know? Truly, truly, truly is beautiful. I want to take the car to all cruising while we're here, too. I'm going to take it out cruising. The guys and girls, they be flying through this thing at top speeds, man. And they what they do is they both go at the same time. One from this way, one from that way. And they fly all the way through the center of this and see if they hit. If not, yay, they didn't hit. It's crazy. It's really fun. 
But what do you say we get in the ship? We'll cruise around this area now that you've got, had like a really close experience with it. We'll get in the ship now. <laughs> okay, so I died. All right. That's why I moved the ship closer. I died. I decided to go up too high and then I, I, thought, I thought I could jump down and I died. Okay. All right. <laughs> Tattletale. All right. Um. All right. Let's check this place out. Come on. And the door is shut now. Thank you. Turn the engines back on. Systems activating. Systems on. Wow, look how deep that is. So let's cruise around. Let's blow up my other ship. Get closer so we can see the explosion. Do I have missiles in this thing? I don't think I do. Let's hit the that bad boy. There we go. Why don't I hit it? There we go. Beautiful blue explosion. All right. Well, at least you know you're safe for five minutes, even if you're landed, if you come across me. So let's go on over here and check this area out. Looks odd with this mountain right here. Ooh, look at that. You gotta be kidding me! What? Alert. Front crash close. Oh! Alert. Deck crash I wonder how close. deep that is, man. All right, so let's land here. I didn't even know about this over here. There's more than meets the eye to this to this place. Landing gear down. Landing complete. So by what? From watching. Uh, <laughs> Craiglin, I think it was Craiglin. If not, then I'm sorry. Uh, from watching his streams, it seems that every North Pole is odd in one way or another. And this is the North Pole, I believe, of Hurston. How deep is this? Oh my God, it goes forever! You guys ever watch Thundercats? You remember that crack uh, in the in the planet that had thunder coming out of it? I can't remember what that place was called. That's what this reminds me of. All right, at the end of the stream, we're jumping down that. We're we're jumping down there. I think if I can find my way back, because I want to go traveling around. If I can find my way back to this place, I'm gonna jump down there. Just to see how far it goes. It looks like a walk uh, a little bit closer. It doesn't look like... Well, I don't know if it goes down far. I can't tell. Maybe it goes down into like a V. And that there's uh, just nothing. You know what I mean? It just looks like it goes down real far. But maybe it doesn't. So yeah. I think it, uh, it just... Yeah, it's an illusion. It's an illusion. 
All right, let's get back inside, guys. There's another uh, thing like that over top on the other side of this thing. This is freaking awesome, man. And how cool is it? It's near a lush area, too. Oh, look at that picture. Did you see that? What a picture that is. Hold on. I got to take a picture of that. Let me see if I can get my character out of the way. That's a good picture. And let me get the character out of the way. So now we have no HUD on the screen. And we'll move him over a little bit. I think it looks really cool with the light coming through the window. Ooh, and the and the little Yeah, look at that. Picture. Okay. Um quick getting sidetracked. And get in. All right, let's go check out some more areas. Systems activating. Systems on. All right, so we got this area here. Let me look down in there. It, yeah, it doesn't look like it goes down far. Dude, that is a bright light. Doesn't go down as far as I thought it did. What if you could go into the mountain like, a, like an unintended cave? That'd be so cool. Let me get real close just so I can see. Nah, there's no cave. But wouldn't that be cool? I don't see a cave in there. Alert. Front crash close. Alert. Port crash close. Wow, look at all these rocks just piled on top of each other like that. What is this? No way! Look at that! Dude, that's crazy. I didn't even know those rocks were there. Huh? What do you think of that? How amazing looking is that? To literally stop doing the gameplay loops and just come out here and just relax. Fly this amazing ship. It's like taking a Harley out in the, uh, in the hills. You know what I mean? Taking it through that long country road in the hills. Oh god. Wow, that was close, guys. That was close. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. I just wanted to showcase this so that way, in case anybody was interested in coming out here, you're seeing how I did it. You got an OM1 from Everest, and then you go straight down. You got to put on your uh, your quantum so that way you can go towards where the Hurston marker is, and you'll be able to see it. It stands out once you get close. And we'll just land it right in here. This is a good place to, um... Alert. Front crash close. Alert. Okay. Rear crash close. Wait, what are you doing? Why'd the door just open? Alert. Front crash close. Landing. 
All right, there we go. She's powered off and she has landed. And let's get out real quick. Dude, I thought that was like some kind of turkey. It's just a shadow from the rock. It literally, my mind played tricks on, tricks on me. I thought it was moving like a bird. Well, guys, as a community, we're going to have to give this place a name. So that way we can remember it when uh, CIG fixes it. Mm -hmm. As always, guys, thank you so much for coming by the channel here. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this place. And I hope you go, you come by. I really do. It's a sight to behold. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to get out of here. Always remember, guys, may the verse be with you. I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time.